I want some energy, y'all. Yeah. Enough energy to warm the rain as it falls, but we don't even feel it. Yeah. I need some energy. Yeah. Are we standing as one? Yeah. Are we ready to fight? Yeah. Are we ready to do whatever it takes yeah. to get this city to understand they owe us? Yeah. I want you to keep sending up the love as I introduce our president, John Samuelson. Thank you for turning out even though the weather got a little ugly on us. The first thing I want to do is have Local 100 members give a round of applause for the solidarity efforts that are here supporting us today from the MTA Labor Coalition, the politicians and organized labor in general. A lot of solidarity going on here. It's a great indicator not in this fight alone, that we're in this fight with workers from across the city and from across this country. Now it's no surprise that we're standing underneath the headquarters of the New York City Transit Authority. The high-heeled folks up, the well-heeled folks up there, the well-heeled folks up there think that transit workers don't deserve a raise. Well, it's easy to say that a worker doesn't deserve a raise when you're making 290 grand a year. The folks up there that are demanding three zeros from TW Local 100, they have no worries when it comes to paying their mortgage payments, on what colleges their kids are going to go to, and perhaps where their next meal is going to come to, but they expect us to eat the zeros, and it's not going to happen. Local 100 gathering together today is a show of strength to the folks up in this lofty tower who are trying to determine whether or not we have the resolve, the resolve to defend our livelihoods and to defend our families. Do we have that resolve? Do we have the strength and the backbone to fight back? against the creeps that are trying to stick it to us and take away our ability to defend our families. A few issues. As I said, they're up there trying to figure out whether or not we're going to stand shoulder to shoulder in this fight. Are we going to stand shoulder to shoulder to demand a wage increase? Are we going to stand shoulder to shoulder to demand a dental plan that's not an embarrassment to TW Local 100 members? It's been said before and I'll say it again. The great conspiracy of the New York City Transit Authority is to render TW Local 100 toothless through the dental plan they've been giving us over these last 25 years. Perhaps most importantly and very high on my list of priorities, are we going to allow the New York City Transit Authority to continue to treat the ladies of Local 100 with utter disrespect? No! Are the men in this union going to stand side by side with our ladies who come to work every day and suffer at the disrespect and uncivil treatment that's somewhere back from the 1880s? Are we going to fight to end it? They might not know what the answer is up there, but I know what the answer is down here. TW Local 100 members never backed away from a fight in the history of this union. We're going to lead this fight. We're going to tell them to take that pattern that they think they have that has us eating three zeros. We're going to take that pattern and tell them where to shove it. Because I'm not signing that contract despite what the other unions did. The one thing that they need to know, they're dealing with the Transport Workers Union in New York City right now. They're not dealing with anybody else, and we're not taking that contract. Brothers and sisters, we have a long agenda tonight, and it's going to culminate in a march up to Wall Street. The Wall Street banks are the folks that have imposed countless damage 
damages to the working families of New York City, New York State, and across this country. But before we do that march, there's a host of other speakers that I want to get to, and our next guest is a, a, a particularly good introduction for me, the borough president of Brooklyn. I happen to live in Brooklyn. I happen to have a more authentic Brooklyn accent than he does. But brothers and sisters, give a warm welcome to Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz. Thank you, John. Both you and I speak the King's English, King's County. So, let me, uh, let me just say, as borough president, Brooklyn also is the number one user of subways and buses in New York City. So whatever impacts you, impacts us. The happier you are, the better all of us are in this city. Now right now, those subway trains are dirty, the stations are dirty, dirty, and there's no service or personnel on the stations anymore. How much more do they want to depersonalize a service that is vital to the future of New York City? You move New York City. We are in this together, and I just want you to know Brooklyn is in the house tonight. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Our next elected official, Assemblyman Keith Wright. Good evening. Is Harlem in the house tonight? You know, I am the chair of the Labor Committee in Albany. And I have seen, since I've been chair, an erosion of workers' rights throughout not only this state, but throughout the nation. So I will be very short, because I know you have a lot of speakers here tonight. But I am glad that working people are standing side by side. Side by side in unity, in solidarity with our brothers and sisters from TWU. Yeah. You know, this is no time to start fooling around with somebody's contract. Uptown, we say, don't fool with my money. Don't fool with my money. Let me hear you say it. Don't fool with my money. Don't fool with my money. One more time. Don't fool with my money. So with that, I stand here with you. I'm proud. To do that, and I just have one last thing to say to the city of New York, Mayor Bloomberg, and the MTA board. Let's get ready to rumble! Yeah! Brothers and sisters, I have the honor and the privilege of introducing a new friend of mine. This is a hard-working labor unionist who has really taught us a great deal, me in particular. It is my honor, ladies, gentlemen, to introduce to you the New York President of the Labor Council of Latin American Advancement, Sister Sonia Evans! 